Hi, I'm Yula of Yula Design. Welcome to my new wire crochet loom system. With this system, you can make triangles and complex polygon based shapes. I will begin by showing you what the system includes, how to set it up, and what you can make with it. We have three sizes of sides. These were the large ones, the medium ones, the small ones, and three poles. Let's put it aside and I will show you how to set it up. These are the poles. We take the sides and simply insert them into the poles. I'm now making the smallest triangle. Here it is. I can detach the parts and set up the medium triangle. And in the exact same manner, I can set the large triangle. There it is, the large, the medium, and the small. So, from the large one, we can get a large triangle, like the center of this one. You can see the overall size of it. From the medium, this is the size you will get. I didn't take it off the looms yet. And this is the small one. Here they are, one next to the other. The large, the medium, and the small. Now, the interesting thing about this system is that you can take off one of the sides or even two of the sides and wire crochet a piece that connects to another already knitted piece. For example, a strap that you wire crochet and then you add triangles one next to the other, just one in the center, on the other side. Or you can connect one triangle to another triangle. You don't do them separately. You wire crochet them one to the other. For example, to the side. Just imagine how endless opportunities you have. Look at this one. These are actually five small triangles, separate ones that I wire crocheted together towards the center to make a star. These are two small triangles that I wire crocheted in a more pyramid-like shape. Not a flat one like this one. And connected to side to side or back to back. And these are larger ones, the medium size. I love it when they have uh, different shades in each side. I think it adds to its depth. Now this bead was made a pyramid to one side, turned it over, and wire crocheted the other side. You can also leave an opening in the center, open up the loom, insert it back, and now wire crochet a second triangle to actually make link shape triangles. You can use the triangle as a centerpiece in a necklace by adding straps to both sides. After it's done, it can be a flat one or a more three-dimensional one, like this one. And this is the most time-consuming project I made. It began as a single triangle. I will show you which one this one, 
And like in the stars, I made five similar ones, connected them towards the center and continued working from there. Now, this work can go on and on, get larger and larger. I can, for example, add points like here. We're using just two sides of the triangle or even just use one. And then it will get a more like ball shape. It's a game of adding more and more pieces to one another. This was an ambitious project. You can also make smaller ones like this one. This one only has the uh, four triangles. These are actually three triangles crocheted one next to the other. And then the fourth one completes the round. So what do you say? Are you ready to explore this new system? Feel free to leave me a note via the website www.juladesign.com. If you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.